Hello is Rob from the lab. Today I will replicate these sunglasses. First I take a picture of the glasses. I have recorded this voiceover in the future while my printer was printed. Ok, first I open up a program called Inkscape. Now you will go into document properties and you click on grid and you will make sure that you make the grid 1 mm like this. Now I drag in the pictures of the sunglasses. I make the pictures a lot smaller and start making vectors around the glasses. Like this. And this. And like that. Like this. Because of my laziness, I only make one side of the glasses. I start to make the inside of the glasses now. With another vector. Like this. And this. And that. And like this. And like that. Now I select the both vector objects and I go to path and I choose difference. Now one side of my glasses is complete. Now I click the right mouse button, duplicate. I now have two objects on top of each other. I choose one, I go to object, flip horizontal. I hold down the control key while I move the flipped object to the other side, like this. Now we select these both objects and we choose path and union. Now we can delete the picture in the background, like this. Now we clean up the vectors a little bit like this. I have to come up with an idea of how to get the frame stick to the glasses and I come up with this idea. I make these small gaps. I make the glasses 5 mm in thickness. The gap is now exactly 5 mm. 1, 2 and 3, 4, 5. Like this. My glasses will be printed through that end you see in the picture. It is called the hot end. It is very hot. Ok, so now I open up a 3D program called a Blender. It is a very cool. Ok, so I choose import SVG and I choose the vector file. Ok, so now we have to convert this curve into a mesh. I choose object and convert. I choose mesh from curve. You can also press Alt C like this. Ok, so the next step is very confusing for me too. I have to make this the right size for my printer. When I import a file from Inkscape to Blender, there is something very mystical going on. The grid size in Blender is also 1mm. If you see closely in the picture, it has imported it very wrongly. I now make it 25 times bigger in both X and Y axis. Now it's the perfect size for my printer. If you see now when I rotate the object in Blender, you can see that the object has no thickness. This we have to change right now. Ok, so I go to view and I choose left or right, it doesn't matter. Ok, so now I put the snap on and I go to edit mode. Now I press A to select all and now I press E for extruding. So I want to make it 5 milli in thickness. One grid is 1 milli, so 5 grids up. Ok, so it looks now very nice. Ok, now I do the exact same thing with the frame. First I make it in Inkscape and then I import it to Blender. 25 times bigger, extrude. Now I can just duplicate the one frame and now I have two frames. Here is the whole set of my glasses. Now I save this as an STL file. I load the STL file into a program that converts it so the printer knows how to print it. And now the magic moment, I press print. While my printer is uh, printing, uh, I can put on sound. Very hot. Very hot. While the printer is printing, I edit this movie. While the printer is printing, I make some tea and I drink it. Mmm, tea. While the printer is printing, I play the Dior's harp. While the printer is printing, 
I make a shit. <coughs> when my printer is printing, I go to sub. Yes, it's perfect. A perfect match. Now I have new glasses. <laughs>